starting out doing duos between saxophones it's a it's a great combination you know even if they're both tenors or both altos or one of them is a baritone or a soprano um, because they're very equally matched in terms of the volume and you can do a lot of the same types of things on them and play both roles of being supportive and playing accompaniment and also playing melodies and improvising in this example, we were just playing um, the most basic form of a duo improvisation. Uh, we were playing in the key of G concert, which is A on the tenor saxophone, and it's E on the alto saxophone. So we were just moving gently around in the scale, not worrying too much about rhythm or any organization. It's a lot like an abstract painting where you're kind of just painting, making shapes on a page and, or on a canvas and just sort of seeing where it goes. It's like uh, the breathing for me is uh, really uh, a key part of, of uh, combining um, music and, and, and communication because uh, when all of us are taught as horn players, uh, you're, you're told to do long tones. And, and <clears throat> one, one teacher said to me, well, you don't always just have to start out with 15 minutes of the same note long tone. You can if you want. And some people really, uh, it helps relax them and helps really focus them. But another teacher of mine said, well, if as long as you're doing the long tones, if you're if you want to start exploring the scale then start wandering, you know, and, and uh, that, that's a great thing to do because it's all breath. It's all from the connect, connected breath uh, that we get our, our sound. So that's really important to have. 